I was going on my way to school. And I heard people talking about something. I feel uncomfortable because they are staring at me. And I know they were talking about me. I didn't bother to talk back. When I arrived at school, I saw the two play ball in the class smiling at me. Like, seriously? For the first time, they smiled at me. Well, I didn't smile back to them and go straight to my class. That's gonna be my girl in just a day. <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see. The classes finally ended. I was going on my way to canteen and I suddenly slapped on the floor and dropped all my things. I was so shocked that someone helped me pick them up. And when I saw who that is, my interest goes down. Hey baby girl, wanna go eat lunch with me? Um, thank you for your kindness, but no thanks. I walk as fast as I can to get away from Justin because it's really irritating that he's suddenly into me. Hmm, something smells fishy here. The class dismissed, and I saw Nathan waiting for me at the front gate. Like, seriously? Hey, princess, do you want me to take you home? <laughs> Well, I didn't talk back at him and wait for my driver to come because I'm pretty sure they are up to something no good. When I arrived at home, I decided to use my three little brains. And I suddenly have a great idea to get rid of the two boys who are making me into their canes. I clean myself and go to my computer. I did some little research and after that I go to sleep. Morning! The day has finally come to get rid of those two nasty jerks. Nathan was waiting for me at the gate. I smile and talk to him. Hi Nathan! Could I ask you for some favor? Sure, princess. Anything for you. You see, I was planning to go swimming in the Madison Lake this weekend, and I don't have someone coming to join me. And I wanted to invite you. What? Swimming? Um, sure. <laughs> Anything for you, baby girl. I was laughing inside and I can't wait for tomorrow's event. I did a little research about Nathan and I heard that he can't swim. He was traumatized when he goes swimming with his family when he was a kid and I just can't stop laughing when I heard that. <laughs> Let's see how far you can go then, Nathan. Tomorrow has finally come. Nathan was right in front of my house ready to go to the Madison Lake. Are you all prepared? Yes, princess. Come on in. We arrive at Madison Lake and I pull him right into the water. He's faking to make that face of Reed. Hello, oh, well, I was really waiting for it to happen, but he was acting so good. The next day, Justin invited me to go to a party, and I have something in mind. I'm gonna ruin that party for him. These two guys are jerk. They're just playing around other girls' feelings, and I will teach them a lesson. Justin gave me a luxurious dress worth much money, and do a little makeover. After I'm done changing my clothes, 
Justin was shocked when he saw me wearing that dress. Wow, you look so beautiful. You look like a princess. It glared into his eyes and I can see his sincerity within those eyes. I lose my mind and suddenly he remembers. Oh my gosh, I have to get it together. I shake my head and get back on track. I was so close. <gasps> We have arrived at the party and when we arrived there was literally no one there. Like what? What is this all about, Justin? Um um you see. Uh I I love you. What? I saw his sincerity face and he was literally talking to me. I can say something and after Nathan comes and grab me. I was Literally shocked on what's happening. No, Justin. She's mine. No, she's mine. I was confessing to her first. No, she likes me. Wait! What are you guys talking about? I don't even know you guys that well. Why would you guys say that? The two boys can say something. I was shocked that they are fighting over me. Like, what the heck? I am not that even beautiful. They are serious about their feelings. Alice, I really like you. Do you feel the same way at me? I really like you too, Alice. I'm really sincere. My mind will blow up in any seconds because they are saying that I have to pick one of them. Seriously? Well, I really don't know who I'm gonna pick between them. So I said, can you guys give me some time to think? And the two boys agreed with it. I go home and Justin drives me back. I was so touched that he gave me a special gift necklace and put it at my neck. Such a romantic boy wouldn't be bad at all. I'm on my bed now, and I can sleep thinking about what happened a while ago. Do I really have to pick between those two jerks? Well, I really find them comfortable to hang out with, but that's really fast. They make me pick one of them. Ugh, just forget it. Morning has come and I decided to pick Nathan. Because I feel like he's a good man and never cheats on a girl because of those innocent eyes of him. I arrived at school and I didn't expect what I saw. I literally saw Nathan with a girl kissing. I turned back. What am I expecting? Playboy is always gonna be a playboy. I ran out of the school and suddenly... Justin was asking me about what happened. Why are you crying? Did something happen bad? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Why are you saying sorry? Justin comforted me until my tears was gone. Why would I ever cry for a jerk man? I suddenly remembered that Justin was comforting me. I was so touched that he's so nice to me. I guess he's really serious. Justin? Yes, my princess. Uh, I like you too. Really? Yes. OMG, you make my day happy, Alice. So yeah, we're together. We always take care for each other and comfort each other. I didn't regret picking him because he's really kind and I like the way he is. We have fun together. He invited me to his house to meet his parents. And we really get along. Well, that's the story of me. This is the end of this video. If you guys enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye!